Um, okay. I hope anyways. All right. Ex-wife pretended to be my parole officer. Um, okay. Uh, hey, Billy Blue Balls. I wish making this story, I wish I was making this story up, but I am not. Well, how would she pretend to be your parole officer without you knowing? She must have done it to somebody else. Anyways, I'm in my early 40s and had been married for 12 years. Unfortunately, the marriage ended in a divorce last year. What, when she found out you were in the mob? How, how, you're married for 12 years? This guy's like a responsible dude. He ends up going to jail. Even though we had no children, my wife got to keep the house in the divorce settlement. Of course she did. Of course she did. But they're always victims. Um, divorces and alimony are expensive. So for the past year, I've been renting a townhouse. Well, dude, you're doing fine. You're renting a townhouse in this little community uh, where most of the other residents are elderly couples. Oh, I see. So you waited for someone to die and you moved in there. I love it. Uh, I enjoy, just don't steal their fucking social security checks. I enjoy living here. And even though most the other residents are older, there is a nice community center that has a tennis court. Yeah. And you're fucking beating everybody feeling like a young man and a pool and events during the week and sometimes even live music. So all in all, not too bad of a situation. Well, about three months ago, I met this great lady and we began to date. My ex-wife found out and did not take it well. That I was back in the dating pool so quickly. Yeah, because why get in the house? Well, you know, she just got the fucking house. So she went around to all my neighbors pretending to be, be my parole officer. Wow. Well, they're all witnesses. Why don't you sue her for defamation of character? She, can you do that? She claimed that I am a registered sex offender, and she was following up to see if I had gone around door to door to admit to my neighbor I was a sex offender. Oh, you got to sue the shit out of this woman. Obviously, I did not do this because I am not a sex offender, and so all the neighbors said no. I had not disclosed to them my sex offender past. I had no idea my ex did this until a week later. I got a letter from the community board of residents requesting that I move out for being in breach of state laws requiring me to disclose my sex offenses. All right, dude, all you need is a lawyer, brother. All you need is a lawyer. This is easy. This is fucking easy. I, of course, went to the board and told them that they were all lies, but they did not believe me because I could not prove I'm not a sex offender. Yeah, you can. Go get your fucking record. I found a website and searched my name, and of course nothing came up, but they wouldn't believe me. Plus, dude, this is so simple. This is so simple. Sue your wife and sue this fuck, and say you're going to sue this old fucking folks home if they kick you out. Plus, they said even I was telling, even if I was telling the truth, and that my ex is lying, they don't want me in my community because I hang around people who wouldn't lie about such a transgression. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of fair on their part. I do not want to move, especially because they said they did not, they don't have to give me any sort of refund, and I'd be liable to pay the remainder of my lease. I'm not sure what my options are, and to involve the legal team will only add to expenses. Well, you'll send them right back to her, and I still may have to move. What do I do? Thanks for listening, and go fuck yourself. Well, provided you're not a sex offender, I would get a fucking lawyer and tell the guy, listen, you got a fucking... You know, what do they call that? Working pro bono or some shit? Working for the SAG minimum? I would absolutely get a lawyer. I would absolutely get a lawyer. And I think you're the, the, the judge in your divorce case who handles your alimony and all that shit should know what this woman did. I would press, I would find out whatever, um, Whatever uh, legally you can do, whatever a law she must, that can't be fucking legal to do that. And then you got all that shit that they do, all the emotional stress and how this fucking affected you. And I would sue the fucking shit out of her. Um, that is all. That's what I would do. Absolutely get a lawyer. Absolutely fucking -lutely get a lawyer. Jesus fucking Christ. Do, do you see this? This is why. This Me Too shit where you've created this thing now where you don't need any proof. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for getting all these bad guys, you know, outed and all that shit. But you can't just create a system where you take due process and you throw it out the fucking window. Okay? Because of shit like this. 
And I know all the hype out there right now is that women are victims and they're all these fucking angels. And the truth of the matter is, is there's assholes and there's vindictive people out there who have dicks and sometimes they have vaginas. And you, you just can't have people going around fucking doing stuff like this. And, you know, if we're really going to go into a, a future where everything is fair, you have to start, you know, women have to be responsible for their actions. You can't fucking go around and do something like that over some petty bullshit to fucking ruin a guy's life like that. I mean, do you realize, like, how vindictive that is? That is unfucking believable And I, like, I, I'd be honest with you, I would never in a million years, no matter how long I sat there and thought, I could never come up with something as bad as that. And, um, and I don't need to tell the guys listening to this that women can effortlessly do that. Hell hath no fury like a fucking woman scorned, especially when they're not held fucking responsible. You know, I just love how women can get away with, like, destruction of property. There's even a commercial on TV where this guy is going through some sort of breakup, and this woman is just throwing all of his shit out the fucking window, computers and all that, and it's played for comedy. It's fucking considered hilarious, you know what I mean? Which, fine, I can roll with that, but you can't, uh, you know, have some overbearing guy screaming at his fucking wife played for comedy anymore i guess you used to be able to do that but um you know sir if you were actually innocent of all everything that she just did there i i would absolutely you know what dude why don't you start a startup start a, a startup to get a fucking lawyer you give me the link dude and i'll i'll throw 500 bucks at it sue the shit out of her if she fucking did this to her sue the fucking shit out of her good luck to you all right and I'll, and I'll tweet out the fucking link and everybody just get on this thing and let's get this guy a fucking lawyer so he can get on with his goddamn life. He's not doing anything wrong, according to him, okay? As long as what he's doing is telling the truth. Other than that, I, I think I might be giving $500 to a sex offender. <laughs> Kidding. All right, crazy wife. Jesus. Hey, ladies, can you guys write in too? Because I want to keep this balanced. I don't want this to be a fucking sausage fest here. All right? Um, all right. 